Hello and welcome to the Motorcycle Gene. My name is Gene and today I am going to show you how to install a rear seat and passenger foot pegs on a Kawasaki Vulcan S. Now I have the 2015 Kawasaki Vulcan S but for this procedure it'll be the same for any year of the Vulcan S. If you enjoy motorcycles and if you enjoy this kind of content or motorcycle vlogs or if you're interested in more content about how to do things on the Vulcan then go ahead and click subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new videos. With that let's get into the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the saddlebags if you have them. If you don't have the saddlebags then remove the plastic trim pieces on either side just behind the seat that hide the bolts for the fender. Since I'd already removed the plastic trim pieces on mine with the saddlebags, I took the liberty of pointing an arrow on a photo so you know where the plastic is in the So we've got to remove it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the driver's seat. Uh, to remove the driver's seat, it is a 5mm fix key. And you actually have one under the seat, but since I have this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Now it's exactly the same thing as the other side. You're going to have a 10mm here and a 10mm here. Now the two bolts right here, uh, those are going to be, I, th I think, a 15 and a 13, but normally uh, those you'd have to remove after taking this trim piece of plastic off, which is held by a little bolt, two bolts there. But since I've had got a saddlebag on, the bolts that hold the saddlebag are the ones that go through there, and so you don't have to worry about those. Or I don't have to worry about those. And then you just push this toward the front and pull it off. And you're going to have to hang on to this piece because you're going to need to attach it to the other arm. You're going to have to remove this trim piece of plastic. There are four bolts and each one of them are three millimeter hex key. Now underneath there's going to be 10 millimeter here and there should be one right right down there in that little cubby hole. Also make sure that when you take it off sometimes these little uh, pieces will fall off and you have to bend them back in a little bit before you put them on so they don't fall off again. Once you get the bolts loose there's a couple of clips and make sure you don't lose your washers. That's to take out a 13 millimeter right here and a 14 millimeter down here. Also, right here where the plastic trims uh, clips on, there's a little rubber, little rubber grommet, and you need to take it off of the one you took off the bike and put it on here. If you've got saddlebags, make sure that you put start this bolt 
before you tighten the other bolts so that you won't have problems getting it to line up when you put your saddlebag back on. Now you're going to have to put this piece back on. When you tighten it, or before you tighten it, make sure that this hole here lines up too. When putting this plastic piece back on, there is a little plastic pocket on the inside of the tram. Make sure that you slide that plastic pocket over that piece that I showed you earlier that you had to put the little rubber piece on. Once you get this in hand, then you just got to put your two 10 millimeter bolts back in. And then either put your two bolts back in here if you haven't already, or put your saddlebag on. Before you put this one back on, remember that these little clips, they're going to they're gonna try to fall off. So you need to pinch them in a little bit, then you need to snap them back in place. There's two little rubber grommets, one right down here and one up here. And there's two plastic pegs, one up here and one down here. And you're going to need to, have to line those up. and snap them in place. And then put the bolts back, one here and one there, 10 millimeter. Now it's going to help if you spray a little WD-40 inside of inside of the rubber to make it slide on easy. Otherwise, it'll catch. So the fat side is going to go on first. Going to slide it on, and then when you put it on, you're going to make sure that the slash side is up so that it will be able to fold. But don't forget to put the washer on it before you install it. You may have to compress in on the rubber a little bit before you in order to push the pin in. And then the last step, you're going to take this little keeper pin and you're going to put it on this slot. And you'll need like a, a screwdriver or something. And important thing is, make sure you don't flip it across the room or anything because you'll never find it. <laughs> Press it on until it's completely seated. Then you're done. Now everything that you did on the other side you're going to do the exact same thing on the right hand side of the bike and all of the bolts are the same sizes in the same places so that's all the same so you just do exactly the same thing that you did on the other side once you have the foot pegs installed on both sides then you can move on to installing the rear seat uh, the rear seat is actually really easy compared to putting the foot pegs on also if you're wondering about the saddlebags i've got on the vulcan these are from viking bags 
and I absolutely love them. And if you, I'll put a link down to the review that I did on them. To put the passenger seat on first, I'm gonna slide the front seat up. Make sure you got it hooked. And then you're gonna take this piece, slide it over so the holes line up. Then you're just gonna put the bolt in. Before you put the seat on, you're gonna need to take this rear bolt out. Then you're gonna slide that one in until it locks. You just gotta put the bolt back in, tighten it up. Well, just now finished with this project. It only took me slightly longer than I anticipated, so that's not bad at all. If it wasn't for the saddlebags throwing a little bit of a fit, I would have been done half an hour ago.